you know how you have that like there's an adult conversation and there's like a kid conversation like what I'd love to do really 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 quickly is have an adult conversation with all of you here on this webinar Yeah. Your Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. told me a long time ago, he's like, I'll never take advice from somebody about burning out that's never been on fire. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. Just, in this world, and I'm not a creative mind, but you have to create every day. Yeah. It's got to sound like it's the best thing you've ever created. It's just yeah. time to do it. I will talk about how, you know, the um, tightrope walker, you know, they've got a safety net. He's like, I don't really pay attention, but if you put somebody up there with no safety net, he's like, I'll pay whatever you want to watch it. <laughs> right. exactly. you know, that's, and that's the problem is so many people, they've got, you know, this safety net of a, their full-time career, and so all the things that they're trying, they're not executing on, because they've, mm -hmm. they've got a fallback plan. Like, you know, you heard, you think you're the only one? Yeah. And, and now, like, I meet millionaires that are hurting inside, and just being able to touch people's lives, because of the things that I've done in my life, mm -hmm. most people that do have done what I've done in my life do not get on stages. Any, any guy could knock a dude's teeth out of his mouth and break a person's ribs, but that type of guy can't be tough enough to get on stage and, and be vulnerable. So that, that to me is like what a tough guy is. So yeah, I, it helps me grow every single time I speak and, and share the message. And there's been nights where I've been on Facebook Live at one o'clock in the morning, sitting in my car from my hotel, just like bawling. Uh, okay. Because I'm just freaking like been I had been away from home for eleven days. I've got a sixteen month old now, but at that time it was like a seven month old. And I'm like, you know, what am I doing? Like, why am I, you know, walking into this hotel room for the tenth night in a row? And I've got this goal to sell three hundred policy in eleven days, and I've got two hundred seventy eight right now. I'm not going home. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, say, well, you know. She needs her father. And I'm like, yeah, she does need her father, but right now she really needs food and sleep and go to the bathroom and she needs her mom. And you know, when she's really need her father is when she's 13 and when she's seven, you know, and what can I do over the next five, six, seven years and create so that when she is that age that I can be 100% all in and have to have a lifestyle that is completely unmatched. Literally yesterday, I'm sitting in the car and everything came full circle. So like when I posted that first post January 11th last year, she was mortified. Like, like just, she called me, she's like, what in the world are you doing? And I had said something about the income I was, I was making at that time. And yesterday, she sends me a screenshot of her, or a, a photo of her computer where she was making this blog called The Hustler's Wife. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, just the fact, I'm like, I'm like the fact, like, like she despised the word hustle for 12 months, <laughs> you know? And now she's got a blog that she's starting like today called The Hustler's Wife. And I'm like, this is the most incredible full circle story ever. <laughs> but man, I gotta run. I've gotta, I've gotta pack up all my stuff in this hotel to check out and get to my own book um, meeting here. But I'd love to connect further and um, have you on either one of the podcasts really i think probably the best thing you know for you in respect to your time is to do the, the 10 minute one first and then okay. if it makes sense to do the other one later um the other one we kind of bank episodes anytime we use my business partner he's um he's out of town all the time too so anytime we're <laughs> anytime we're both magically in town at the same time we try to record like two or three episodes because it comes out nice. once a week um, okay but uh, we could definitely schedule that one out, but it would be scheduled out to like February, I think, at this point. Yeah. All um, right, that's, that's legit. But the other one, the ten, the the new one, um, I could probably knock it out next week, and it's literally going to be ten minutes. So. 
Okay. That would be, Sweet. I'd love to have you on that. That'd be great. Totally. Uh, keep moving on from there. I'd love to connect further and, and build a relationship with you for sure. Um, Legit, man. Likewise, bro. Cool. Alrighty. Well, I will, yeah, uh, man. yeah, man. Yeah, I really, really, really appreciate your time, man. Likewise, brother. Have a good one, man. Have a good All right, man. See ya. A couple of housekeeping things that I want to put out there. The Daily Bread, this daily vlog, this journey we're on, is Monday through Friday. Now, why would I say that? Why would I say it's Monday through Friday? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, I am a human being. <laughs> TJ is a human being. We're not robots. And I have a wife. I have a 16 month old daughter and quite frankly I care way more about them than I care about you and I am not ashamed to say that so you're not gonna see full-length episodes come out on the weekend what you may see are some special features come out some unseen clips from footage we've already done you may see some some shorter clips that we've um, had made from, from previous episodes you may see some bloopers some gag reels that kind of thing but the cadence of this vlog is Monday through Friday for me to show you what it takes to be successful. So that's what I want you guys to come to expect. Anything else, in my eyes, <laughs> is just icing on the cake, right? So I think we can agree that that's probably enough. We'll get it at some point to where it's like a set time, or we may not. Because quite frankly, this is a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not gonna position ourselves into deadlines like, hey, by five o'clock, because that creates a scenario where it's gonna hinder my performance in my current career, and I will not do that. I will not let the extra stuff I'm doing right now affect my career. I will not let the value add affect what's funding the value add, right? Because that's what makes this whole thing go around. So the main focus is to remain focused. And that's why I'm gonna use this tool as an accountability tool like I've always used with Facebook Live. But now that you're seeing it more in depth, you'll see how I throw these goals out, recap them daily, recap at the end of the week. We may start throwing some monthly goals out, some quarterly goals out, just kind of depending on how things flow. But I want you guys to know what to expect. Look at me. Look at me. Hey there. Oh my God. Pardon. Are you going to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. I love you. All right, what's up, guys? So I'm headed to my next meeting. So, so far, I've got uh, 11 policies sold for the day. Um, I need to get 19 today to hit my goal of 50 for the week. 50 life insurance policies sold in three days because the last two days I hadn't hadn't done what I wanted to do. So I gotta finish strong here. Um, I need eight more and uh, we're gonna see if we can go make that happen. Um, this is probably the last meeting of the day. So um, wish me luck. All right, it is time. You've all been waiting, I'm sure, for a tip from the way. It's in regards to um, advertising, marketing on social media, specifically with Facebook. Uh, if you know anything about social media, you will know that Facebook advertising is probably the best value uh, there is out there right now. And <clears throat> a lot of people have different uh, theories as far as posting ads, boosting existing posts. But I wanted to give you my opinion, and this is something I've learned uh, from a couple of people, and then through trial and error, I've kind of gotten my cadence with it. And my own personal kind of number that I like to look at is 50% or greater. If there's 50% shares or greater than the total number of likes, that to me is something worth boosting. Because that meant that, let's say for easy numbers, if 100 people saw the video and liked it, but 50 or more also decided to share it, that, in my opinion, is a recipe for something that could go viral or something that would at least perform well um, 
that while boosted. You have to think about Facebook as though it's a human being. What do I mean by that? That sounds weird. It's, it's a it's a program, it's a website, it's a platform. If you think about the advertising aspect of Facebook as a human being, then you will start to understand the dynamic between how much you spend in ad spend and how much you get in return in the reach and the engagement. So let me dig a little deeper. If I had a video that I wanted to run an ad on or I wanted to boost and I told an individual, hey, here's a hundred dollars. See what you can do with it. A, a human being would say, this guy just gave me a hundred dollars. I can just kind of throw this thing out there and you know, see what happens. He's got money, right? Versus if you told a human being, I'm gonna give you $10 a day and I wanna see what you can do with it. Then that human being is like, all right, I got $10, so I need to be mindful of where I'm posting this. I need to be mindful in the news feeds that it's going into. I need to be mindful in these audience that it's able to reach. So that's how I treat Facebook ads. So I'll start it at $10 a day. The key is when you, when you boost or when you run an ad is to not look at it for 72 hours. Now I'll give you a full disclosure. I've never been able to not look at, for, at it for 72 hours. Like, you know how it is. Like you're excited. You're like, oh, I'm going to boost this. I'm ready to go. Like, let's make a viral video. And you're like checking it every five seconds, but you want to let it run for at least 48 hours. Let it work its way through the algorithm, 24, uh, 48 to 72 hours, let it do its thing. But after about 72 hours, you wanna go back and look at the analytics on that ad, and if it's performing well, and performing well is completely subjective, like whatever that means for you, if you're trying to get page likes, or if you're trying to get conversions for something on your website, or just website views, or whatever your, whatever your goal is for that, uh, for that ad. If it's performing well in your mind, then you're gonna to wanna to increase the budget to help it grow faster. But at that point, you have to go back to that mentality of this being a human being that you were handing dollar bills to. I am uh, in the car headed back to South Carolina from Greenville, but uh, man, I, I've never been more excited to be on a webinar uh, to kick off this year. And you know how you have that like, there's an adult conversation and there's like a kid conversation. Like what I'd love to do really, really, really quickly is have an adult conversation with all of you here on this webinar. What I mean by that is, let's talk about actual money. We need to set goals. And I don't want these like pie in the sky goals. The goal is like, I want to have the best year of my life or my goal is to get focused in 2018. This is the year that you actually make real goals based on what you want to earn this year. So how do you do that? Okay, figure out what compensation, how much money you want to make at the end of this year. Then you're going to do the math. If you don't know how to do it, we'll show you how to do that, but it's real easy just dividing it by the number of policies sold with your average premium per policy and all that good stuff. But you can break it down into real math and what you need to do every single quarter, what you need to do every single month, and what you need to do every single week in order to reach that goal. Not just how many policies you need to sell, but how many people you need to see based on your average close ratio. So you know the activity that you need to do every single week, every single month, every single quarter. If you just got started, don't say you wanna make 800 grand. Do the math on it and figure out what that actually means for you to make that. But put those goals down specifically and what, you want, what we want you to do right now is in the comments section of the chat function, go ahead and write out your goal so that we can see it. What is the number of policies that you wanna sell this year? What is the number of policies that you want to sell this year to make the amount of money that you want to make in 2018? Put that number every single where you look on a daily basis. Put it on your mirror in the bathroom. Put it on your, your window in your car. Put it on the wallpaper on your phone. 
and look at it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But guys, for us to achieve our goal as a team, for us to hit 60,000 policies, cover 60,000 lives this year, it's gonna take each and every person that's on this webinar doing their part. That's why I love this career so much, is because there's no ego, we compete together, but we love each other and we help each other. And together, by all of us doing better, the whole company as a whole can achieve what we want to achieve, do what we want to do, and it's going to be an absolutely incredible year. So please, please, please take it seriously. Please take it seriously. Put in the work and make it the best year ever. What better way to kind of recap today and, and recap this week than to do it old school. A camera, suction cup to my windshield on the road. Going into today, I was behind and I needed to sell 19 life insurance policies today uh, to hit that goal of, of 50. I met with 20 people and I sold 16 policies, not 19. So I ended up with 47 life insurance policies sold in three days. Am I excited about that? Absolutely not. Am I happy about it? Absolutely not. Um, am I depressed about it? No. <laughs> but that competitive side of me is like, oh. But when I really started thinking about it as we started to drive back a couple hours with my home, it's almost, and, and I use that almost, like almost, because that competitive side literally is just like gut wrenching for me right now, but it's, it's almost better that it happened this way. Here's what I mean. From day one, when I put myself out there on social media, I wanted to be transparent. You know, transparency is funny, because a lot of people talk about it, but when it comes right down to it, who knows? You would never know. I could have sat here and said, my goal was 19 policies to sell today, and I sold 24. Boom! Crushed my goal, surpassed what I wanted to do this week. Hallelujah. Right? And you would have never known. You would have never known the difference. But I did. I sold 47. And I think, in a way, that this could perfectly end this first week of daily vlogs by giving you that extra bit of trust that at the end of the day I'm going to do what I say at the end of the day I'm going to report to you and you're going to see what is actually happening <laughs> that none of this stuff is staged that none of this stuff is made up that none of this stuff is fake <laughs> It doesn't be easy to do that, but nothing worth doing is easy.